Hey, what's up, guys? So, Poly Popo here with a crappy camera, and I'm gonna get rid of it here. But I just kind of wanted to go over what I'm doing here first. I'm gonna take the MPCX and uh, hook up the MIDI to my sledge synthesizer, but then to control it so I can hear the sound whenever it's playing, um, I got my Akai Professional keyboard hooked up just with a USB going in so I can actually hear the sounds when I hit this key in live time so I know what I'm playing. So let me minimize this screen here and then we'll get right into it here. So okay and I like this view here because then I can go sequence track MIDI. <laughs> Kinda dope. Alright guys so here we go. I got that hooked up and what I'm doing is now I have I can hear this keyboard let me turn this up cool now why I want to do this is now I can change the programs on this keyboard up here pretty dope right so and and the reason I have that hooked up because if you don't have two keyboards hooked up you can only play the pads to hear your notes which is fine but if you're playing and you know it, it's just beneficial to me that way now if you go to like pad perform or something like that it could definitely help you out a whole lot they got so many different chords, but they don't play the chords on MIDI, I don't think. It doesn't sound like it does. No, it's just the sound. But, uh, yeah, so now what I'm going to do is get out of Pat Perform. I got sidetracked there. So you can change the, uh, the program, which is... But I like to play on the keys, and now I can hear everything that I'm going to be recording. Right? Going into my mixer, of course. So now I'm just going to record something for four bars at 130. And what's dope about this, and I'll show you in just a second. Okay, we're going to undo that and redo this. Why does it do that? Hang on. We're going to change the sound because I think it's the sound. That's weird. We're going to do this over again. We're going to go to new, don't save. Because did you see what that was doing? That's kind of weird. But that's what we do. We find out weird stuff here. So we're going to go here. MIDI. Got to turn this off. You guys all know about this. That When you got a USB keyboard, you turn on your MPC. You got to power everything back on. I haven't had the problem with the Force yet. The Force seems to like the MIDI stuff. This should not cut out, and I don't know why it is, but here we go. cool so it didn't cut out that time sometimes you know this thing's a little buggy you know what I'm saying you just kind of kind of want it really bad but what's really dope now is I can go to my MIDI 
uh, keyboard and mess with the different stuff, which I'm going to do right now. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I really wanted to get at was that you hook up your MIDI keyboard or your, your USB keyboard straight USB to the MPCX, and uh, if not, whenever you hit your keys, you won't be able to hear it. You know what I'm saying? So do it like this: USB keyboard to the MPCX, MIDI out into here, out of here into your mixer, and of course, it's all. All laggy, logged up, did not like that, but it is very, very possible. Yeah, it doesn't like it at all. So, here we go. Just a few more sounds here real quick. Which there's a lot. Right on, guys. I'll hug you later. Please subscribe to the channel. I got more stuff. And if you guys want to see me do something on here, suggest it, and I'll put it on here. Um, don't really care what it is. So, <sighs> right on.